Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to find Elytra in Minecraft. And don't worry, as long as you're not playing hardcore, you can do one of these without killing the dragon first. I'm going to show you two different and super easy methods. Elytra can be worn instead of a chest plate in order to fly. This is a great device for quick transportation and allows you to get to great heights without needing to build up or down. So to get started for both methods, the first thing you will need to do is locate your end portal so you can enter the end dimension. You can find the stronghold and the end portal by throwing eyes of ender, made from combining pearls and blaze powder. All you have to do is throw them up in the sky and start following the direction it leads you. Once the ender eye starts going straight down, it means the stronghold is directly under you. Dig down until you find the portal room. Once here, set your spawn. That way, if you die at any point, you'll be able to jump right back in and continue. Unless you're in hardcore, of course. Okay, so this first method requires you killing the ender dragon, so make sure you have everything you need to prepare for the fight. Good weapons, armor, arrows, a few stacks of blocks, a water bucket, and a boat. Maybe even some slow falling potions and golden apples for safety. Jump through this portal and it will teleport you to the end and this is where you will fight the dragon. Once you've killed the dragon, you'll notice one of these portals will appear. This is called an end gateway and that will take you directly to the outer end islands which is the only place that you can find Elytra. You can either return home first by jumping through the center portal if you want to get geared up and restock on food and potions. Maybe some fireworks as well so you can use your elytra once you find one. You can always re-enter the main end portal whenever you want to get straight back here. Once you're ready, what you want to do is either throw a pearl through the portal or use a trapdoor or water bucket to enable swim mode and get yourself through. Now that you've reached the outer end islands, I suggest turning up your render distance to load in more chunks around you. What you're looking for is an end city. These are large end stone and purple buildings that contain some pretty good loot, but the only building that actually contains an elytra is the one with an end ship that looks like this. When I came across this first city, sadly it didn't have a ship, so I will have to keep bridging out or throwing pearls to teleport until I find a building that has a ship. Once you have found an end ship, build up to get inside and kill the shulkers. Be careful, because if you get hit by one, they will send you levitating, that's why slow falling potions or a water bucket are good to have on hand. If the shulkers drop any shulker shells, hold on to those, as you can use those to make shulker boxes. The elytra will be located in an item frame at the front. Just pop it out and there you go. You now have your first elytra. Now the fastest way to get home is to travel through the end gateway that you came through or find another one nearby. If you see a beam of purple light, that will direct you to the gateway. Now to method two. The most important thing you're going to need for this is two ender chests. You can make an ender chest by combining eight pieces of obsidian with one eye of ender. Just a quick warning, this method cannot be done on hardcore as it does require dying, but here is how to get elytra without killing the ender dragon. I suggest watching this tutorial all the way through before attempting so you can see exactly what this method requires. Before you go through your portal, place down your bed and set your spawn. Also place down one ender chest. This could be a bit dangerous, so for safety, I'd suggest leaving your best gear at home and bring the essentials you'll need but don't mind losing. I did die once when attempting this method, but I also wasn't paying attention, so just be careful and you'll be fine. Once again, you're going to jump through the end portal, and once you're in, the dragon will automatically spawn. But that's okay. Totally disregard that and immediately start using your blocks to bridge out. This will take you a few stacks. My outer end islands were 880 blocks away from my main island, meaning I needed about 13 stacks of blocks to get me all the way out. This might differ a little bit for you, but make sure you have that many blocks just in case. You can also use your ender chest to keep spare blocks, just make sure you have a silk touch pick to mine it after you place it down, otherwise your ender chest will break. Now, what happens if you get to the end and don't have enough blocks to bridge out? As long as you have a pick, you can carefully grab some end stone from the main island. But to avoid having to do that, I suggest you make it a priority to grab enough before you get there. Wood logs are a great option for this as you can convert one log into four wood planks. That way you should have a ton of blocks to spare. Once you finally reach land, turn up your render distance and keep bridging around until you find an end city that has an end ship. Get in and grab the elytra just like shown in the first method. 
Once you have an elytra, you're going to want to place down your end chest and put everything on you in the chest. That includes your armor, tools, items, and most importantly, the elytra. Now, the only way to get back home without killing the dragon is to die and respawn. Anything you put in your end chest is going to be accessible from any end chest, so the one you left at your spawn point is going to contain all your things. So jump into the void, respawn, open up your end chest, and there you have it. Now that you successfully got your elytra, it can be enchanted with unbreaking 3 and mending to elongate its durability. You cannot put it in the enchantment table, so you'll have to use an anvil to combine it with the enchanted books. The best part about Elytra is, if it breaks, it doesn't disappear or fully break like regular tools. It stays broken until you mend it. If you don't have a mending book, that's totally fine. You can actually repair it by putting it in an anvil and combining it with phantom membrane. To fly with your new wings, double tap spacebar and you'll start gliding. Use fireworks made from gunpowder and paper to propel you in the air. Remember to aim up or out as aiming down will send you propelling into the ground and you'll take a lot of damage. Controlling Elytra can definitely take a little to get used to, so make sure you do some test flights from a reasonable height so that you don't crash too hard, because trust me, it will probably happen. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or want me to explain anything further, feel free to leave a comment and I will try my best to help you out. I'd love to know if you attempted these methods and how it went. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.